Here's Tom Knowles. Got space on this right hand side. Knowles now beats his man very easily. He gets the ball in. Reads there, but it's claimed by Eamon Azaz. He keeps the ball well. Here's Tom Knowles now. He's got players ahead of him. Plays it to Charlie Lee. He goes for the shot, but it's a good opportunity here from Preston. Dagnall does really well to keep the ball. And outstanding play from Chris Dagnall there. Plays it all the way through to Knowles, who's got pace to burn running at Kefalas. He cuts back. Here's Kelly. Ball in looking for Reed, and it's just over him, but really good work from Chris Dagnall in his own half here. No, Dicko Dicko's been a massive influence for, for all of us, I think. Um, you know, we like that like Chris Dagnall, he, he leads by example, he, he works so hard and you know, he, he just wants to give the team all he's got week in, week out and I think it's him going to Hanley at the end of the season is something he really wanted to do um, in his next stage of his career. So um, we wish him all the best and hopefully he does really well there. Yeah, he's he's had a strange few years here at in Somerset as it's played through and here's Dagnall now on sides it came off a Barnet player Dagnall on his left foot well blocked by the Barnet defence but Nerfield uses his pace to get there but it just runs away from him but good anticipation from Chris Dagnall and that's his experience he knows when to take those risks and have a gamble whether it comes off the wrong side of the defender's head and he had a good chance there Yeah, Barnet only with three wins this season. And they'll be really hoping they can finish this one this season. I mean, the, the players have got to play for their futures here, is what the manager said. And here's Nerfil. Really nice touch from Dagnall to play him in. And now a nice ball to Tom Knowles. Knowles running at the defence. Cuts in, gets it on his left foot. What a goal from Tom Knowles. Fantastic feat and what a fantastic finish from Tom Knowles. 1-0 to Yeovil just before the 10th minute. No, brilliant. Um, you know, I, I think um, Barnett are very open there. They'll be hitting him on the break very quick and Knowles has uh, come up with a lovely finish. It's another set piece in the similar area for Barnett here. A bit further out with Petrasso taking again. Petrasso floats it into the box looking... For Daly, here's JJ Hooper now on the edge of the box. Played back in, appeals for a soft hand ball there as his arms were by his side. Here's Vaughan now, all the Barnet players staying up there, going to try and pump it. Played over, it looked offside to me, and yeah, given offside. But what game it was, but I was a bit taken aback from this. And again, a really good throw there, causing chaos in the box. No one there to tap in, you just needed someone a bit further back. But yeah, good long throw from Tom Knowles there. And here he here he is again. Played out nicely to him. Cuts in on his left. Gets the ball into Reed. Look like a push in the back. Play into yeah, Charlie yeah, Lee. Yeah. What a strike from Charlie Lee. 2-0 in the 24th minute. Charlie Lee with his second goal of the season. It's a beautiful volley right into the bottom right-hand corner. 2-0 here at Hewish Park. So corner for Barnet with Michael Petrasso standing over it. Got Daly in there to aim for. Plays it in and it's cleared by, I think, Hunt it was. There was a bit of a mix-up between Max Hunt and Charlie Lee who both went for it from, from different angles. But luckily it didn't result in anything catastrophic. And it's a it's another corner for the Bees. So Petrasso gets a second take. And Ruben Reed went for it there and it just pinged off. I think it was Max Hunt it pinged off and it was a bit of a... Mix up in the box there, to be honest, as Ruben Reed looked like he was going to get the header, but a bit of a heart in mouth yeah. moment. Yeah, certainly was. Um, could have uh, gone anywhere that, but luckily it's gone behind, and we have to concentrate here for another corner. So Petrasso, for the third time, goes for the near post that time. It's played all the way back to Taylor. Here's McBurney. It's under McBurney running at Matt Worthington, just about. Beats him. Here's Petrasso gets the shot. 2 0, it can be a dangerous scoreline, you know, if they get one back. So we need to keep trying to push for a, a third before half time or start of the second half. Tom Knowles with the corner, plays it in to the back post, played back in, and there's Dickinson on his right foot. Especially after that second goal. Between the first and second, it was a bit 
Barnett grew back into it, but you know, after that second goal, it's definitely been all Yeovil. Yeah, we seem to have uh, pinned them back. They don't really want to come out, which is creating a lot of space for us to play football and hopefully we can create a few more chances. His Dagnall slides in, Matt Worthington. Keeper's come out, Worthington can't get the finish and it's a good save from the keeper. The young, he could have got the goal there. No, yeah, definitely uh, Worthy's eyes probably lit up, but the, the keeper came out and, you know, smothered it really well. They done, he's done really well. It's Nerfil now cutting in, beating a lot of players with his feet. Nerfil hits the post, what a finish. Three really good goals from Yeovil. Josh Nerfield, they're getting another against Barnett from that left-hand side, cutting in, hit the post, goes in, 3-0. PR gets the ball in, goes deep looking for Daly, but Dickinson's there. It was a soft header, which is so useful for the team. McBurney plays in Adeloy really nicely. Here's Adeloy, gets the ball in. Skendy's there, and his clearance is off his shin. It was a necessary clearance from Albie Skendy. It's going to be Petrasso to take this one again, the Canadian, formerly at QPR. Gets the ball in, goes deep looking for Daly, but Dickinson's there. It was a soft header, England debut. It was three years before that when Yeovil infamously went to Exeter. 3-0 up in the... and it's a decent effort there. Here's Reuben Reed. He's got Worthington there, just plays him in potentially a bit late. But here's Worthington again, now Nerfield. He'll want to get a second goal, goes for it, and it's a decent save from Azaz. I thought for a second he'd fumbled that into his own goal, but it was a good strike from Matt Worthington. A bit close to the keeper, but had the venom to force the corner from You know, Ruben's a, a similar player to him, you know, we can put the ball into him and he holds it there for us. Now Barnett attacking, gets the ball in, it's a good ball in. Kelly can has time there to bring it down luckily but that was dangerous Yogel need to watch out for that just they don't switch off and it's a really nice ball to Chris Dagnall there can he get there ahead of the goalkeeper he does the goalkeeper's out the box Chris Dagnall now gets the ball into Reuben Reed. not the best first touch but oh he just swung at it on his left foot and it was a there are a lot of Barnet players back there but the, crucially the keeper wasn't but good play from Dagnall and it just needed just that moment of quality in the box to, to finish it off and make the uh, finish off on the on the turn. Encouraging though that Knowles threading that pass through to Dagnall. We can see a bit more of that in this second half. I mean, good turn played through to Hooper now, and a really good goalkeeping despite it being offside from Adam Smith. Really dominant goalkeeping came out really quickly and made himself big in a. Saved his defence there in embarrassment despite the despite the offside. Comes Vaughan. Vaughan gets the ball in. It comes off Dickinson's back and it's a corner. And Barnett are about to make a change. It's going to be Mohamedou Fall coming on for JJ Hooper. I believe. So that will be a like for like. Mohamedou Fall, he's a tall striker. He's actually... Back on. Yeah, he's been told to... <laughs> The fourth official got the numbers up, but it hasn't happened yet. I think they're going to wait for this corner, or maybe he's not coming on at all. Played in to Vaughan, gets the ball in. Good header from Kefalas, and it's gone into the back of the net. And the Yeovil defence stand motionless. It was a weird goal, to be honest, and Kefalas headed it down. I think Adam Smith saved the initial shot, and then it bounced around. And I don't quite know who got on the end of it there for Yeovil. The ref's not happy something there, don't quite know what. A bit of pushing and shoving. Big space there in the middle of the box. Mm. Here's Dickinson now for Yeovil. Does go for the shot and it nearly curls into that far corner. You could and here's Kelly now. Nerfville just not able to get that ball in. They're Playing it across the edge of the box. Here's Knowles. Going to go for a shot on his left foot. And that's always rising. So it's going to be... Adeloy to take. He goes for it. And it's similar to Cole Dickinson's yeah. one. Just on the other side. And he went for goal. I think the better option might have been to... Get it into the box. And just see what happens. You, know, you can get some really 
real talented lads um, come here because they see these other players. They see these other players who have been here and you know had gone on to have success in their careers and played at the highest level. And why not? It can only be to our benefit. Really good chance there for Barnett as the ball just fell down to Michael Petrasso. Any time soon, we've had the three minutes. Here's Vasiliou. Really agile Vasiliou, look there. He beat, plays very well there. Here's McBurney now, switches it to Kefalas on this left-hand side. Here's Petrasso now. He always looks like he can create something, but it's a big clearance from Albi Skendi, and it's a full time there. And it's 3-1 here at Hewish. Any time soon. We've had the three minutes. Here's Vasiliou. Really agile Vasiliou, look there. He, beat, he plays very well there. Here's McBurney now, switches it to Kefalas on this left-hand side. Here's Petrasso now. He always looks like he can create something, but it's a big clearance from Albi Skendi, and it's a full time there. 